of its day and welcome to Spanglish Generation. This is the fourth video of my series in English, The Real Cuba, where I explain the truth and the experiences of many Cubans that have suffered at the hand of socialism turned totalitarian regime. The point of these videos is to provide information based on lived experiences to people who need reference regarding Cuba's socialist system. It seems like a lot of people around the globe admire and even idealize the way the Cu that Cuba operates. But it's funny how the same people have never lived in Cuba or any other regime for that matter. I can only speak for Cuba and that's what we're here to do. Now, how can I accept your socialist proposal when you have never lived in socialism and I came escaping from it? Now hear me out, familia. The United States is not perfect, but newsflash, nothing is. We have to work at the system we have and make it better, but not changing the system. That's not going to really solve anything. You know what I'm saying? Careful what you wish for. Oh, but day, the socialism America proposes is not the same. This will never be like Cuba. Really? That's like dating a notorious cheater and saying, oh, I trust he'll never cheat on me. What we have is different. I'm special. Venezuela, one of the most powerful countries in South America, home to unlimited fuel and natural resources, said about 20 years ago, we're not Cuba. That would never happen here. Chamo, eso nunca va a pasar aquí. Eso nunca va a pasar en Venezuela. Nosotros tenemos derecho. We have rights, they said. Cuban ideology triumphed. They let it happen, and today, they are on a very similar sinking boat. I am making these videos because I really, really do want people to hear the real voices of actual Cubans. And I urge every Cuban to do the same. Our truth is important. I want to make sure that our children have a wonderful country to experience life in, not to want to risk their life to run away from. I want to tell every citizen who is so unhappy with the United States to migrate to a socialist country. Okay, let's not get carried away. But for real, you should visit a real house, not as a tourist, for a couple of months. People come to America because it is the land of opportunity. I don't see Americans jumping on rafts to find happiness and fairness in Cuba. Or am I missing something? It's obvious that these systems don't work when applied. At least in Cuba, it has been a total economic and social disaster. Before I end this video, I want to leave you with this fact. Did you know that even when Cubans become naturalized citizens, we can't enter Cuba with our American passports? Although you lose your citizenship rights when you leave the island, you are forced to renew the Cuban passport and you must use it, you must present it instead of the American passport to enter the island. That is what you call petty control and manipulation. That simple move is telling every Cuban who became an American citizen, when you come here, your American passport means nothing. You're just another Cuban. But since you left, you're a traitor or a worm, as they call those who don't share the government ideologies. And this worm is used by the government. You don't have any rights as a Cuban, but you must still enter as one to the country. That is what you call humiliation. And that is a key weapon they have used to hurt the dignity and the identity of Cubans for 62 years. I hope this information is useful to you and that it helps you to have a better understanding of how the Cuban system works. I appreciate your support by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell by liking and also by sharing. People don't know what they don't know, so let's help them know together. God bless you. See you next time. Now it is my time to shine. Let's
it's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go.